Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading I'm the Queen in This Life. If you guys are new here, I want to let you guys know I do read these webtoons in a storytelling voice. I do give each character a unique voice. If they're high pitch, low pitch, I try to see what kind of characteristic they are and trying to see if those voice would fit those characters as I continue to read and see them, right? Um, I will be reading episode one to two. This is a brand new read. I did have a big poll for four different webtoons. The, uh, I'm the Queen of This Life was one of them. This and I Love You was like head to head on all platforms. I post on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, everywhere. So these two will be on a vote kind of scale. So in order for this to be a weekly upload, you guys, by March 1st of 2024, if this have over 15 votes, it will be on my weekly reads. If it doesn't have over 15 votes, it will be posted randomly. Same rules goes for I Love You. So, <laughs> gather your friends and make sure it's, it is over a certain amount because this helps me know what is popular and what is not. I do continue, I do read 10 to like 12 different webtoons per week. So I'm trying to space out my time here and make sure I have enough to cover for each day of the week and also add some to certain days. So this read, it's, they use a lot, I try to read, scheme through it. They use a lot of big words and English is my second language and I do struggle with the pronunciation. Some of the names are in Italian, so I did Google how to pronounce them correctly. <sighs> so please be patient as I <laughs> as I try to pronounce these out. If you guys see me, I have a, like a, a moment of pause in the video. It's because I paused to Google the word so I could come back and say it correctly, okay? It's annoying. This webtoon's already gonna annoy the crap out of me. All right, here it goes. Warning. This episode contains depiction of sexual assault that may be upsetting for readers. Viewer discretion is advised. And letting you guys know, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, I do have to blur any part that is very graphic. Uh, you know how sensitive YouTube is. And of all, also Webtoon policy, I do have to blur 50% of each episode or else my channel get taken down. I had that issue last year, a couple months ago, in 2023, where I got flagged four times and almost lost my channel. Luckily, they did review my videos and saw that I did follow their rules. So yeah, catalog was going up, but hey, if you guys wanna support me, I do have all these read on my private channel on Patreon. Uh, you guys will get early access, not deal with the censorship, and not deal with the cuts and blurs. Of everything is on patreon.com slash ckt chaotic oh, i'm losing my whew. all right let's get it started t Dispose of the crown prince at once. Yes, my lady. For my love, my idol. It was all for him. That I committed this grave act of sin. I did as he bid me and became a traitor to my country. I hope he'll be pleased. <laughs> now that the throne belongs to him, I wonder if this means... <laughs> that he'll love me more. Well, what, new, what news do you bring? Crown Prince Alfonso 
is no more. <laughs> My sweet Ariadne, you did well. Now, at long last, this is our time. As soon as this unrest is quelled, I will make you the most exalted lady in this entire kingdom. For a second, I thought of like purple hyacinth. Whenever I see like a red color font, I'm like, oh, he's lying. <laughs> Chesare. Finally, this is what I wanted. The joy he feels is also my own. As long as I can stay by Chesare's side. I will do anything and everything. I'm the queen in this life. Episode 1. Chesare succeeded in his rebellion and became the regent of Etruscan Kingdom. And nine years have passed since. It has been nine long years. I remained by Chesare's side and ruled over the internal affairs of the royal palace. I serve him as best as I can in the duties ordinarily reserved for the queen. A title I do not hold. Eight years ago. I hear she domineers over the palace as if she's the Lord Regent's wife. <laughs> Simply outrageous. She's nothing but an unrefined wench raised on a farm. Her very presence in these esteemed, esteemed halls is an affront to the nobility of the royal capital. Speaking of which, I wonder when Lord Chesare will find himself a wife. Why, perhaps he'll marry his current fiance. Oh, my, could you imagine? How unseemly that would be. Surely he wouldn't wed an illegitimate child such as her. Let them talk. No matter what they think, Chesare loves me and only me. In fact, have you heard that rumor? Some say that Lord Chesare is a child of a, of a concubine himself. Ah, uh, yes, I have indeed. To be precise, the word is that Lord Chesare isn't the prince's cousin. But his half-brother, born of a different mother. <laughs> and you know what they say about bastards born to concubines. <laughs> They're the fruits of an unholy union. I suppose that makes Lord Chesare a filthy mutt ill-suited to the throne. Take it back. I would not have you besmirch his honor through the grapping mall. Retract your slander and apologize at once. You may say what you want about me. But do not ever speak of Chesare that way again. What's going on here? Huh? Chesare. My goodness. Countess Marquise. Are you quite all right, my lady? Please allow me to assist you. Huh? I see you were... Uh, we're educated in social etiquette, at least, Lord Regent. If only I could say the same about her. Uh. <sighs> you have no right to treat a noble woman of the capital that way. Do you not see that I must earn their support? Compared to your prideful insolence. Countess Marquise and her political influence are, are of much more use to me. 
How do you expect to become the regent's wife when you act out in these fits of heedless behavior? You should become a wise, competent noblewoman that I wouldn't be embarrassed to present to the kingdom. Only then will I take you as my wife. And that is all I've strove to do since then. Yet even after these year, these past eight years, I remained Chassere's fiancé, nothing more. You see, I am magnanimous liege. Even the followers of the disgraced crown prince will have my place at my side. W wait, Chessere. Be still. I must try a little harder. That's it. So that one day, Cesare will accept me as his wife. Until then, I can endure all of this and more. Oh, I almost forgot. I have some news to share. To serve as my queen, I am to wed your sister, Lady Isabella. Uh, huh? What? My older sister was already married to her, the former crown prince, Alfonso. The king cannot marry a widow who has lost her innocence. Well, fortunately, Lady Isabella remained chaste through her short-lived marriage, which allows her to seek another husband. Or do you wish to condemn your own sister to spend the rest of her days in a cold, dreary nunnery like all the other widows? Chaste. I know for a fact that isn't true. She already bore and miscarried Alfonso's child. Such a jealous person you are. You truly seek to sully your own sister's good name. Uh, Away with you. I will not tolerate such base feminine wiles. Uh, Cesare. She's shaking. You said you love me, did you not? You said you'll take me as your queen. And that we'll be together forever until the end of our days. <sighs> How dull indeed. You're just another common wench whose selfish desire would tender our great grand cause. You're nothing like the noble Lady Isabella. <sighs> Jessery, could it be that you were conspiring with my sister since before Prince Alfonso's demise? <laughs> From the very beginning, Isabella was a perfect woman for me. After all, the strongest male deserves the most beautiful female, as it is in nature. And yet, your father saw fit to give me his lesser daughter instead of Isabella. Could you even comprehend the humiliation I felt that day? That's so mean. Curse his soul. What more could he possibly want from me? <sighs> Do you mean that I was merely the consolation prize for my sister? Consolation prize? Why, poor Ariadne, you are no prize at all. That... I betrayed my country on your behalf. Look at my hand. I gave up my ring finger for your ambitions. 
For you, I abandon my reputation, prospects of marriage, and my entire life. <laughs> I, gave, I gave up everything for you. Guards, to me, it seems Lady Ariadne has lost herself in a fit of hysteria. Have her confined in the Western Tower. Chassere! Oh my gosh, that's dark. All right. Warning, this episode contains depiction of violence that may be upsetting for some readers. <laughs> Do you see those lilies of the valley? They remind me of you, you know. They're gilding, almost subservient. They only seem to bloom for me. Chesser. I was dreaming. Today must be the coronation ceremony. They're playing the music that I chose and partaking in the ceremony that I planned. I did it all for Chessere, no one else. That should have been me standing beside him as he puts on the crown. A lily of the valley might thrive out in the forest, but it will never be as cherished as the rose that blooms in the greenhouse. I see you're awake, dear sister. Isabella, I'm the queen in this life. Episode two. Now I get to see her sister. She's actually really pretty. What are you doing here? Isabella, what have you done with Chessere? Ah, uh, Ariadne. I think it's you who ought to explain your misdeed towards my husband. I have no words for what I did to Alfonso. Alfonso? Oh my. <laughs> I was referring to Chessere, you foolish girl. What? Isn't it obvious? Chessere belongs with the most noble and refined lady of the land. Who better to stand besides him than me? In fact, it is simply abhorrent that you would seek to seize my rightful place as queen. If you have any sense of propriety, you would have broken your bet betrothal long ago. Now, because of you, my name has been dragged through the mud. High society sees me as a naught but a widow, who lost her innocence and even bore a stillborn child. How do you propose to right this wrong, sister? Is that what enrages you so? But what of your husband, Prince Alfonso? He treated you with love and kindness from the bottom of his heart. Ah, but of course, that is the way that all men treat me. If I were to respond in kind to every man who ever loved me, then I shall become a harlot and give my love to everyone who desires it. <laughs> then, do you, do you love set Chessere? If so, why didn't you accept his engagement proposal in the first place? You were the one who pushed me towards him in the first place. Why, so why do you seek to take him from me? Uh, 
<laughs> what a silly question. At the time, Chessery was only a lowly count, the son of a mistress, no less. As you can see, things have changed since then. After today's coronation ceremony, Chessery shall be the rightful king. And his wife will become a queen. <laughs> I must admit, it's a shame that Alfonso had to die. But since he couldn't make me the most noble woman in all the land, <laughs> his failure more than justified his death. What? <laughs> Didn't you hear me? I wish to be the highest lady of this kingdom. As such, Chesare has seen fit to make me his queen. <laughs> he paid a price that meets my worth. And now, he earned the right to have me. <laughs> Chesare. Meant everything to me. <laughs> no. He was more precious to me than my own life. But you, you don't even love Chessere. All you desire is status and power. <laughs> and for that, you drive a wedge between Chessere and me? Is that what you think? You're not wrong. The title of the highest lady may be all I want. But it was Chessere who came and begged me, telling me that I never once left his heart. He thought of me even as he held you in his arms. Actually, he said your shoulders were so broad that it felt like he was holding a man. Your sable hair is so dark and lank like a crow. And your breasts are so heavy and unsightly, unsightly like a cow's udders. On the other hand, he said I'm so dainty and delicate that he wants to keep me safe in his arms. He loves my golden hair because it reminds him of an angel. My poor, deluded sister. <laughs> Has anyone ever wanted you so desperately? Compared to your prideful insolence, Countess Marquise and her political influence are much more of use to me. Such a jealous person you are. <sighs> Do you mean that I was merely the consolation price for my sister? <laughs> You may stake your life on a man and sacrifice yourself for him. But there's no guarantee you'll receive anything in return. Here's my last piece of advice. Men are ungrateful creatures who do not deserve your trust. <laughs> As women, our lot in life is to maximize our worth so that we can exchange our lives for something more valuable. No, Chessere wouldn't do this to me. Come now, your precious Chessere might be pinning after me for now. But, in time, he will surely bore of me. And begin to recall you fondly for your 14, 14 years of loyal service. I'm afraid I'm not one to leave loose in, sister. So that's why. <laughs> Please make it painless. St she is my beloved sibling, after all. This is unjust. Why wasn't my sacrifice enough to earn his love in the end? Where did 
it all go wrong? What should I have done differently? If I could go back, if I could turn back time, the golden rule, you'll pay the price for your wrongdoings and earn your rewards for virtuous deeds. This is the golden rule. That's the world I want. That's how things should be. So why is it that I received nothing in return for my sacrifices? Do you consider yourself capable? Capable of what? Living life by the golden rule. I am. Of course I am. I'll do whatever it takes. Huh? Huh? This looks like my childhood home. My hand looks so small. St Wait, is this... My younger self? I've gone back in time. What's this? I never had a mole under my eye. Ariadne! Quit admiring yourself like a noble woman. Wake up. You're a low-born maid, just like your mother. If I'm truly back in my past, this time, I have to protect myself. <laughs> I won't allow anyone to take advantage of me again. To be continued. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is... Okay, so one, here's my first thought when this ha just happened right here. Marry my husband. If you guys ever read that webtoon or watched the K-drama, it is out right now, beginning of January of 2024. Pretty much something tragic happened and the character ended up going back in time and was able to fix things. Because of course they do somewhat remember what happened to them. So they're able to bring that back to the past and fix it and alter their life. So I'm assuming she's going to get her revenge, especially against her evil older sister and her lover. But the thing is, after knowing all this truth, does her heart still beats for him? Or does she be like, you know what? Screw you, you know? But some of the things that her older sister did tell her is true, you know, like, Unless you find a man who really, truly loves you for you, he will never be bored of you. But men who compliments her older sister the way that Chesare have or had, um, he only loves her because of her beauty, her blonde hair, how skinny and tiny she is. So yeah, it's true that he doesn't really love her. He just loves the fact that she's petite, you know, and she's pretty. So yeah, eventually he will be bored of her and get rid of her and find someone else. And of course, we kind of figured out that her sister, her older sister was afraid that, hey, once the day comes, Chesare will go back to her younger sister, Ariadne. So that's why she had to get rid of her. So it is actually pretty good. I'm a little bit annoyed with some of the big words they have used. So I have to pause quite often and Google how to say it correctly. So if I did continue to say correct is stuff incorrectly, please help me out by typing in the comments like, hey, it's not like, that's not how you say it. This is how you say it and you guys type it out so I can pronounce it better. I appreciate that. For those, I know a lot of people do get annoyed when I mispronounce and we're like, you're saying it wrong. Guys, help me out or be understanding because it's, it's, so, it's tough, you know? Uh, anyways. If you guys enjoy the way I read this, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, check out my Patreon page if you guys do want to support me. <sighs> wow, it's such a good read. It's a really good read. It's like a mixture of Marry My Husband and The Remarried Empress. Like those two are like my favorite reads of all time besides the other ones that I'm currently and continuously reading. <sighs> what do you guys think? Should I continue this? Yes, put it a thumbs up. I'll check back in March 1st to see if it gains a lot of attraction, you know, lots of traction. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.